Rory and Mal, two well-known figures in the hip-hop community, were discussing the recent news that several rappers linked to the YSL record label owned by Young Thug, including Lil Baby and Young Dirk, had unfollowed Ghana on Instagram over a video that surfaced online that indicated he might have snitched on Young Thug. This news came in the wake of a grand jury indictment that characterized YSL, or Young Slime Life, as a criminal street gang and alleged 182 instances of the collective's participation in gang activity and criminal conspiracies. I have to ask the real question, did he unfollow Gunna? Because, I mean, that's really... He was I... never following Gunna. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, he, he definitely doesn't follow Gunna. Did you unfollow Gunna? I didn't follow Gunna. I never followed Gunna. But if I was following Gunna, I would have unfollowed him by now. Yeah, for sure. Really? Yeah. I, I followed him after just because like I'm really into plea deals. Yeah, you want to see like where <laughs> where he's going with this? Like how he going? How he going to make? How he going to clean this up? I don't know. I've never put too much into the unfollow. I know it means something, but I don't particularly care. But I I understand now that unfollowing someone today means a lot. So yeah, uh, little baby Dirk didn't did Meek unfollow him. Meek unfollowed him. Lil Baby unfollowed Ooh, you him. Sh you showed Gunna. Dirk unfollowed him. Um, like, it's so lame. <laughs> Dirk also so did a diss line in some video. What was the exact bar? Because I saw people talking about that. Something about uh, what happened to Virgil. He probably he probably told or something like that. I don't know. Or some 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 line like that, where it was like they obviously knew the what happened to Virgil was a Gunna thing. I don't know. I, listen, Wait, I don't, what? I don't, I don't listen to. The youth like that no more, man. I don't know what the f is going on with Young Rat. What happened to Virgil? He probably gonna tell. I let him go because Timo ain't selling. Thanks seven to Book. I'm bragging on Melvin. When Lil Boo and them mad, it ain't nothing you can tell him. I can tell you what I did for the streets. You got the paperwork, did it and reached. I go on. I got on Clubhouse and got in the beef. Wait, what is that? That still means what nothing mean? to me. I mean, listen, man. I, that followed with the unfollow. That might as well have been in a foreign language. I didn't understand one word. Because <laughs> you're not culture. You're That's not true. No, that is a fact. <laughs> that, no, that is a fact. I agree. I am not culture. But... Like you're not keeping up with. You know what I'm saying? Uh, all right. Well, is that is that a big deal? It's not a well. As someone that doesn't think unfollows a, is a big deal at all, this to me, little baby unfollowing gonna yeah, it's kind of a. It's a, a big, big deal, deal when you, scope of things. Yeah, when you think about it the, with their relationship and their history, obviously, um, to now unfollow him. It's like, you know, people are going to pay attention to that and say, oh, they're not f***ing with him. You know, they're not cool. Everybody probably got more word about what his plea deal entailed. Mm. Um, so, you know, it's probably just industry f The guys are just talking about behind the scenes, like they're hearing this is what he did and, you know, whatever, whatever. And this is what he's going to have to do. He's going to have to testify, whatever, whatever. I don't know. I just, you know, as somebody that's just on the outside looking in, if you see guys that you know are cool label mates things like that have songs together uh and we're following each other once you see them the, the interesting question would be did gunna unfollow them mm. pull it up that's what we need to check i want to see if gunna unfollowed he dirk return the favor yeah dirk meek low who else low baby click yeah. it that's what we need to find out Maul, you made an interesting point earlier you said um before we started recording about him doing shows in Atlanta or even living in Atlanta, where, where do you see his relationship with his own city? I mean, as it looks right now, again, you know, the plea deal and all of that, what that entails, I don't know. I'm not in the, on the case. I'm not in the courtroom. I'm not, not a part of the lawyer, the official, the, uh, the lawyers or anything. I don't know any of that. What I do know is if guys from your city that are big in your city, like a little baby, seemingly have unfollowed you and probably won't support you and won't be cool with you anymore, it's going to be hard for Gunner to do shows in Atlanta. It's going to be extremely hard for him to first book a show, get a show booked, and then people to come out and support it. Um, if people do, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming there'll be a bunch of hecklers in the, in the audience mm -hmm. that are going to like interrupt the show or, you know, might start throwing cheese at the stage, things like, you know how this this generation is. It's a whole bunch of people go yeah. to shows to f*** up the show now. Mm. So I don't know if Gunner, you know, if that's a good thing for him to not be able to, in my opinion, do a successful show in his own city, that doesn't look good for your career. But do you think he even this year in 2023 does a show in Atlanta? Whenever he decides to do a show in Atlanta, I don't think that it would be successful. I, I think a lot of time is going to pass before he does a show anywhere near or around Atlanta. 
Yeah, which is a bad thing, though. I'm not if your hometown, your home city is not supporting you no more, and and you know a guy as a uh, you know from your from your crew is facing what he's facing in jail right now or in court for you to take a plea deal, and you know guys feel like oh that was that hurt him and put put a in a the position. Um, I think that it would be hard for people in the city to support that. Okay, but if I don't know what was in his plea deal as far as travel, but yeah, that's what I don't, I don't, do, I don't know. Do we think Gunn can just go overseas in two months and disappear for a, a while, get international money where no one's going to give a, <laughs> and then I, come back after time has passed and you know this world I get moves it. on quickly? I get it, but we said the same thing about the other situation years ago mm-hmm. that he would go overseas and you know a, a lot of people don't care. It's nothing. Nothing is. We don't. Hear well, I don't. Nothing. I don't really keep up with dude, but I. I think isn't that what he's doing? Going I, overseas and getting money? I have no idea. I okay. couldn't tell you. I know I, we don't hear about it, do we? We don't see it. But I think they're drastically different situations, too. It is. For sure, it's a drastically different situation. I'm just saying the the fact that we say, oh, we can just go here and survive and, you know, still make a lip. Yeah, but it's if you can't come to your own city, yeah, you know, and get support there, that just does not look good for your career, in my opinion. I, I don't... That's just me. I don't think that you can sustain a successful career if you can't go to your home city and get love and get support there. Yeah, I just feel like where Gunner was at musically, that's a small percentage of his actual consumers. And that may be true, too. You know what I mean? But I still think that that hurts you, though. I think it hurts behind the scenes because I think how Gunner, outside of being talented and making music, his connections within, obviously, YSL, QC, and that Atlanta scene... Of yeah. people that would not be pleased with taking a plea or snitching was a huge part of Gunner's success. And now if that's taken away, yes, that's going to hurt his career a lot. Yeah. But I still think he has fans internationally that will always pay for a f-ing Gunner t-shirt. And I mean, look, he posted his, uh, his first picture since everything and it got over a million likes. So, I mean, listen. He, does does that that mean much? he follows little baby and Meek. He does not follow Dirk, by the way. Okay. Okay. Rory stated that he personally didn't care about the entire unfollowing saga, but Mal had a different perspective. Mal stated that if Ghana had indeed snitched, he would unfollow him too. Both Rory and Mal discussed the impact that Ghana possibly, snitching, would have on his music career. They speculated that it might make it impossible for him to perform in the city of Atlanta, since Young Thug is a very beloved person and Ghana's perceived betrayal would not be taken lightly by a lot of fans. They also discussed the possibility that a lot of fellow artists might boycott him as well, which could lead to a decline in music sales. The situation was further complicated by the fact that Young Thug and Ghana had both been denied bond multiple times and were currently standing trial for their alleged involvement in the YSL gang. This case had also arrived under the specter of a 60% rise in violent crime in Atlanta, which Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis had promised to fight. This trial was yet another example of the criminal justice system unfairly tying rappers to violent crime through their art, according to many in the hip-hop community. Ghana was arrested in May but walked free on December 14th after pleading guilty to a charge of racketeering conspiracy in what is known as an Alford plea. This is a deal that allows him to plead guilty, if it's in his interest, while maintaining his innocence. His five-year sentence was commuted to time served and 500 hours of community service as part of the deal. Days later, seven other defendants took plea deals and were released from jail just ahead of the new year. Young Thug, on the other hand, remained incarcerated and was standing trial. Many in the hip-hop community were calling for his release, arguing that the charges against him were unjust. The case had caused a lot of tension and division within the hip-hop community, with many taking sides and choosing to support either Young Thug or Ghana. The whole situation raises important questions about the role of art and music in society and the way in which the criminal justice system treats those in the hip-hop community. It also raises questions about the responsibility of artists to their fans and their communities, and the impact that their actions can have on their careers. Rory and Mal's discussions about the situation show that the hip-hop community is not immune to the issues and challenges faced by society at large. They also highlight the importance of having open 
and honest conversations about these issues in order to better understand and address them.